Good morning, and we are today in Kings Canyon in Northern Territory, but the central region of Australia, in the middle of the blooming desert area. And it's very deserty. And here, I don't know if you can see the sun, are some views of Kings Canyon. You can do a number of walks here. I don't think we'll do the one or two days one way. <laughs> Look, the Giles track, 22 kilometres, one or two days, one way. All right, we're doing the south wall, yeah? Yeah, we're doing the south wall, return walk, two hours. Okay, green this way, arrows. green arrows. Yeah. So this is the start of the south rim walk. You can't start this walk after 11 a.m. in extreme heat. You can't start the north rim one after 9 a.m. In the extreme heat. And what time is it? What's it say on your watch? Five past nine. So it's five past nine. So yes, we know it's going to be a steep incline up. So you're going to be on my point of view camera from now on. So my knee's playing up a bit this morning. So if it gets too much, I'm going to have to stop. But I don't want to, I do want to do this. Oh, flies. It's okay. It's sniggly. <sighs> Look at this view. I've only got this far. Morning. Hi. It's about yeah, seriously steep. Oh, excuse my heavy breathing. <coughs> Those steps are very tall, very steep. And this is where we're at so far. Beautiful already, isn't it? Uh, gotta keep going. How did he get down here? Okay, if you look over there, it looks like we get into the main gorge area. Fingers crossed we're nearly there. The guy just passed us, about 10 minutes more. I don't think it's so much a tough walk, it's just my knee is really hurting. And it's very hot. So we've made it to the edge 
Well, unfortunately the sun is in a terrible position to capture the full colour of the other side. There's people walking all the way round. But it's magnificent. It's definitely worth doing. It's a tough walk. My knee's done it, but it is aching a lot. And it's steep at the beginning, levels out, then it's up and down a bit, but hmm, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad we came. It is truly beautiful. Just finished the King's Canyon walk. So we only did the South Rim for two reasons, well, a few reasons actually. It was getting quite hot, and at nine, nine o'clock, they stopped me doing the North Rim walk. Um, my knee is really playing up, so I would never have been able to do that. I did struggle with the South Rim walk. <laughs> and, well, that's it really. I was really tempted to just take the helicopter around, but that is cheating, apparently. So now we've left King's Canyon and we are heading towards Uluru. It's about a three hour drive. And if you see anything on the way, we'll, we'll show you as always. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a bottle shop. We're not gonna find a bottle shop. I think I told you yesterday how much the, uh, <laughs> they have some very strange rules in central Australia. So um, you can't buy alcohol. You can only buy it in your resort if you're a guest. And you can only buy one bottle of wine or six beers per person per day. And the, the bottle of wine, so I had a Jacob, like I have Jacob's cream and things. I'm normally paying $7 a bottle of wine. It's $48 here. And a six pack of beer, normally, what do you pay for a, like a, a slab of beer? For 30, I pay between 64 and 70. So between 64 and $70, and it gets 30 cans. And for six cans, it's $48. It's disgraceful. <laughs> Yeah, so um, can't get you won't get to a bottle shop now till we're at Cooper Petty in Monday, two days. Today's Saturday. I got two titties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I've got about one glass of wine left. <laughs> oh dearie, dearie. Anyway, let's see how we go. Thank God we got the food. <laughs> so we are on the Red Centre way. We just pulled over to get our first real look at Ayers Rock in the distance. And that is where we're heading. That's our first glimpse of Ayers Rock. I'm like, I'm, I actually can't believe how big it is. I mean, I knew it was big, but it's just absolutely huge. And there it is on the horizon. It's so impressive. Just pulled over to Curtin Springs to see, well, A, what the price of their fuel was. 299.9, ah, and to have a look in their shop. So you can camp here and they have little um, like ch oh, chalets. Stuff. Oh, this one's not a bad place actually, it's quite nice. And you can see all the roof from here. There's lots of flies, lots of flies. There's blue gone. So they have a... <laughs> there's a dummy. And... And I have a shop over there. And a restaurant, sorry. Oh god, the flies are really annoying me. 
This is the shop. Mm -hmm. So a tip, if you want to buy alcohol, is come to Curtis Springs. It's half the price that you're going to pay at Ayers Rock Resort. We looked at the prices yesterday for a bottle of wine, which would cost you seven pound in the UK, seven dollars in the rest of Australia, was forty-eight dollars in Ayers Rock Resort. Here it was twenty-four fifty. So still a bit pricey, but nowhere near. And the beer was about thirty-eight dollars, I think. Yeah, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight dollars here for six cans, and it was. It was something like sixty-five or seventy. Up yeah. Here. See. So if you have run out of alcohol because you weren't organised like us and know the rules, then let's stop at Curtis Spring and save it. I mean, it's still going to cost you more than normally, but it's going to save you half the price it will in Ayers Rock Resort. And here we are. So we're doing, first off, the short walk. To, oh, gosh, my knee is really playing up. Um, short walk towards the waterfall. Oh, water hole, sorry. Um, wow, it doesn't look at all what I expect it to look like. Just look at the colours. It's absolutely stunning. Everyone we passed is doing the fly dance. There's a lot of flies. So you're not allowed to take photographs of certain areas. But on the map they give you when you come in, they like shade it out so you know okay. which bits you're not to photograph. Oh, he's got his fly net on, I wish I'd put mine on now. Okay. Is this to the water hole? Can't tell me you don't think this is beautiful blue. Well, the effort, apart from the flags, it's, oh, it's eerily calm. Oh. Sorry, as I was saying, it's eerily calm in a very peaceful way. I can see why people find this place very special. But bring a fly net. Oh my God. Oh gosh! <gasps> oh, I've left it in the car. I didn't think it'd be this bad. Did you not see the signs? I'm coming back to get my dad. Yeah, but you're 
Grab it if you see one flipping fly. <laughs> oh god, they're everywhere. It's huge. And we're just coming up to the water hole now. I'm going to take a minute to sit down, close my eyes and listen. I can hear flies buzzing. <laughs> um, I can't hear water trickling. I can hear the birds mm. and a lot of flies buzzing. I'm very peaceful. was Cunia walk down to the water hole, which obviously when it rains, it also has a waterfall. But uh, there's a good view of his rock from here. Oh.
What a wonderful story that is. Hope you enjoyed reading that. Right, I'm going to make my way back to the car and we'll go and do some more exploring. So this is the Marla Walk. You can take a, a guide, guided walk here, but we can do it ourselves. Plus, that was at 10 a.m. It's not 10 a.m. anymore. Oh wow, is that blue? Look at that. What's the Marla Walk? And yes, I put my fly net on this time. It is pretty horrendous here. So Marla. That's another interesting story. Now, I'm quite a fast reader, so sorry if I'm scanning the camera a bit fast, but uh, you can just pause it if you're interested. And this is the marble rock that they're talking about. And if you look, you can see the marks where when it rains, the water comes down the rock. Absolutely, in all of this place, I mean, apart from the flies, um, I don't know what I was expecting. I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't know it was going to be this big. I mean, it's so tall. I mean, look, in comparison to me, it's, it's remarkable. It's just beautiful. Yep. So I'm not allowed to film past this point, so I'm going to have to put you down. And then at the end of the walk, I'm going. Don't worry, we're allowed to film this bit. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So the Marla Walk leads you to Kandju to, Gorge. And that's where we're heading for now. And 
here we are at the end That's high. I've really enjoyed walking around Uluru. I'm very grateful that the people that own this land, and it's very sacred to them, but they allow us to come and view it. It's absolutely beautiful. I've seen pictures of it like you have, but it doesn't look like that. It's just so much more in person. So if you ever get the chance, you really should come here and enjoy it. It's beautiful. It's incredibly serene. And there is this, there's a feeling here, like a spiritual feeling. It's very calming. Like I say, it's just beautiful. No picture will ever do this justice. So again, I thank the people that own this beautiful site for letting me come and have a look. I've really enjoyed it. Well, here we are. This is actually the car park for the sunset. Though we're not here for the sunset. I'm not sure it'll be a very good one with the clouds. But there is Uluru. in all its glory. Beautiful, isn't it? So, thanks for watching. That will spoil your view. Um, and we'll catch up with you in our next episode. Thank you.